Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down Khalil Mack's film session um, in today's video and determining what he brings to this Chargers defense. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like on a sub on today's video. It would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. So, Mack last year only played in seven games, had six sacks. Uh, was pretty productive, you know, age 31 now, he's still going to, he's not quite the same player that he used to be a couple years ago just because some injuries he's had, yet when you pair him next to Joey Bosa on the other side, he's going to be productive um, nonetheless. Let's just break down the tape right now, let's dive into it right here right now, just show what Mack brings to the table for this Chargers defense. So number one, Khalil Mack is a sack machine, and under Brandon Staley, you know, I think he's going to be really productive. Uh, Brandon Staley obviously has had former uh, experience with Khalil Mack uh, coaching him. So they're familiar with with each other. And Brandon Staley going out and getting Khalil Mack was a, I know this player can produce. He's produced for me before. Let's go out and get him um, to be productive for this Chargers defense. This is a good play here from Khalil Mack. You're going to see him uh, at the bottom of your screen just on this nice little move here on the tackle. He's going to go inside and back out to get to the quarterback. Really fantastic move. Sorry that I can't really get that any slower. There we go. Really fantastic move. I have another angle of it here, though. So you're going to see him working on the outside here, and he's just going to go with this nice little inside-outside move, getting to the inside, getting to the outside really, really quick um, to the, the quarterback. Does a really fantastic job, and that's kind of what Khalil Mack brings to the table. He brings pass rushing. Uh, you know, he, he brings the ability to rush the passer. And on this play here, it's simple, just speed mixed with finesse. Does a really fantastic job um, of just getting to the quarterback, getting downhill, um, and wrapping up the quarterback for the tackle. But this is a nice one-two inside-outside speed move uh, that Khalil Mack brings to the table. He is a pass-rushing maestro, and this is what he's going to bring to the table for the Chargers. And now the Chargers have two legit top 10 pass rushers in the league, if Khalil Mack is able to stay healthy, Khalil Mack's definitely in that conversation. Then Joey Bosa is a bona fide superstar. Um, so you're getting you're getting a really talented player in Khalil Mack. Another thing I love about Khalil Mack's game is he's so patient. You're going to see him here um, on the outside rushing against the offensive tackle. And as this play develops here, he's not going to simply just bull rush and try and get straight to the quarterback in Baker Mayfield. Instead, he's going to be a little patient with it. He's going to he's going to calm down. He's going to be like, okay, let's just let this play develop. He's going to, instead of going all the way outside, he's actually going to cut back to the inside. And then once this guard is a little bit off balance here, just look at how fast Khalil Mack can get from point A to point B. He's, he has the guard off balance, simply just gets right by him and gets after the quarterback. Just boom. Then wraps him up for the tackle. This is a really fantastic job. Just seeing the matchup here, just being a little bit patient, allowing the play, for, play, to, play to develop, allowing the quarterback to have the ball in his hands, and then just running right by the offensive guard. Because any time that Khalil Mack has a one-on-one -on -one matchup against an offensive guard, that is not going to be pretty for the guard. I mean, Khalil Mack is so athletic, so uh, just fast and quick and able to just move. That that's going to be a mismatch. He is a mismatch nightmare, and that's going to be big for the Chargers, having two mismatch nightmares rushing the quarterback um, in, in the likes of Mack here and also Joey Bosa who's just fantastic too he's also just got football instincts you're going to see him here at the top of your screen now um, where he's just going to once again want to get after the football want to get after the quarterback that is what he does that is the Khalil Mack mentality that's what I'm going to call it in today's video it's the Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack mentality it's the ability to get after the football at no matter cost just wanting to get downhill quickly um, and efficiently. And here, that's what's going to happen. I mean, it's not, nothing more than trying to get a, a screen um, to Nick Chubb here in the backfield. Here, I'll just show you right here. So Nick Chubb is going to kind of come out here. You're going to have all these guys move this way, trying to get the defense moving that way. And then it's just going to kind of be a little dump screen over to Chubb. That's the idea of the play. But what Mac does is he just puts himself in the right spot. And as soon as he sees this play develop, as soon as Baker Mayfield tries to turn around, Mayfield can't really throw the ball here because Mac is right in the spot. And then as soon as Mac smells blood in the water, attacks Baker Mayfield here, gets the sack, just pressures him um, and wraps him up for the for the sack. This is a fantastic play there by Baker Mayfield. Uh, I mean, excuse me, by Khalil Mack. Number one, just smelling the blood in the water, getting in the way of the passing lane here. So Baker Mayfield can't really get rid of the ball. And then just closing in and having that instinct and that shark-like mentality to wrap up the quarterback for for the sack. 
He's also really creative in the way he rushes the quarterback. Here you're going to see him there at the bottom of your screen, and he's going to start by going up the offensive line and then finding the hole and hitting the quarterback here. This is a really good play by Khalil Mack. Number one, shows the patience once again, allowing the play to develop, and sees that you know his ability to get to the quarterback here is probably not great because there's a running back in the backfield on the right side, and there's an off to tackle here, and it's going to pretty much be a two-on-one matchup if Mack tries to go around. So what he does is he uses his brains... Um, and, and is able to go up this way um, to try and get a matchup on a guard or get the off tackle off balance, and that's exactly what he does. Because what this does is this, because uh, Josh Jacobs in the backfield doesn't feel any pressure coming here, he's free to pretty much kind of go into the flat and try and get away. Um, so number one, that eliminates one extra blocker. And when what that also does is that makes this off ta offensive tackle off balance. Because this offensive tackle is expecting Khalil Mack to try and rush him this way um, so that he can line up this way and kind of retreat back that way with the with the help of Josh Jacobs. But Mack takes it a different route, goes inside here, and then uses once again that speed and the, and, and the power and the strength that we talked about earlier to just push aside defenders and wrap up the quarterback. He's got the closing instinct um, that's really going to be productive there in L.A. So when I look at the tape, I see a talented, uh, you know, I see a talented pass rusher. Um, and in a, a defense that really starts with the ability to rush the quarterback, um, like what we've seen in, in in L.A. over the past couple of years, and just in, in general with the Chargers since they've had Joey Bosa when they had Melvin Ingram, it all started up front with the ability to rush the quarterback. And now you have two elite pass rushers, especially if Khalil Mack's able to stay healthy, which is you know a little bit of concern. He's getting up there in age a little bit. 31 isn't probably... It's probably, he's probably got two or three seasons of a really maximum, you know, production left. Um, he's definitely, his peak is, is behind him, though. You know, when he was racking up tons of sacks a game and really being arguably in the defensive player of the year conversation sometimes uh, for a couple seasons there, um, he's not that player anymore. But what he is, is he's a guy who can put up 12, 13, 14 sacks, and I think he can do it, um, especially in a Brandon Staley type defense that, we're, that we've seen him be productive in before, uh, working, on, working with Brandon Staley uh, previously. But more importantly, having Joey Bosa across from him is going to be massive for Mac because what that allows the Chargers to do is that allows the Chargers to always have pressure on the quarterback because if you double Joey Bosa, which sure, you're probably going to double Joey Bosa, that means Khalil Mack has a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is horrifying because Khalil Mack one-on-one -on -one against any off tackle, any any off guard in the league is going to pressure the quarterback 99.9% .9 of the time. It's just going to happen. He's that good. He's that quick. He's that athletic. The alternative is, okay, double Khalil Mack because we can't have him uh, let one-on-one. -on -one. And now you've got Joey Bosa one-on-one -on -one because you can't you can't double-team two guys. So um, at the end of the day, I mean, this just really opens the door for this Chargers defense. I really like them going out and getting Khalil Mack because I think this is a playoff-bound team. I think this is a playoff team uh, because their offense is going to put up a ton of points. And to be honest, although the AFC West got better with Russell Wilson coming to the Broncos, you know, now you got Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa going after Russell Wilson. That's scary, especially with the Broncos off the line, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. Um, I love this Khalil Mack move. I think this is a fantastic move for the defense. Now they've got legit stardom on the defensive line trying to get to the quarterback. This is a fantastic move. It's, you know, obviously I, I think Mack has passed his prime, but at the end of the day, you get two really good pass rushers on that team. It's it's going to be scary there uh, if you're playing against the Chargers, especially on, on the outside of the football. So I like them going on and get, getting Khalil Mack. I think it gives them a lot of athleticism, speed, and especially pass rushing ability next year. I would not be surprised if the Chargers were in the top five in the NFL in sacks next season. They're going to be that good rushing the quarterback. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.